Perhaps the most widely used feature of Forward Enterprise is the ability to analyze network and security policies as an end-to-end -end path, rather than troubleshooting network devices individually. In the real world, network policies are really the definitions of which traffic should flow along which path, including which traffic should be blocked, the priorities for various applications and quality of service, as well as isolation of subnets and virtual overlays. If most real-world policies are defined by end-to-end -end behavior, the problem for network admins is that network configurations and testing are usually done on a box-by-box -box basis. The traditional tools that network specialists have used to test traffic patterns are crude at best, such as ping and traceroute. But to identify why a ping test may be failing reverts back to looking at each device individually with little insight as to root cause. Let's start this demo with one of our verify rules to see how we can analyze a complex set of paths in Forward Enterprise. I will select the policy rule that verifies that from our particular source IP to our particular destination IP, there is always at least a path through a firewall onto our MPLS backbone where traffic is delivered. This rule is passing now, but let's bring up all the successful paths for further analysis to study this network's behavior. We have 256 possible paths between our source and destination IPs through about a dozen intermediary devices. I suspect we have eight pairs of redundant devices in our set of paths. So depending which choice we make at each hop, we get two to the eighth or 256 different possibilities. We can scroll through all the paths or select one to follow a particular flow of traffic. For each path, we can look at how network services at each hop are affecting packet flows. For example, if we jump over to the firewall from our policy query, we see that the ACL services are configured to permit all outbound traffic onto the MPLS network, and it then routes to the next hop via ECMP. If we look at the packet changes, we can see how the MAC addresses are changed for the next hop, and then it's moved from VLAN 103 to 105. If we want to see configuration files for any services on any device, they are readily accessible from this point, such as the ACL permit for all traffic between zones. Let's say we wanted to change our analysis slightly. Let's change our initial query from HTTPS to HTTP between these same systems. That returns no valid path results, which is good because we want this to be a secure service. Similarly, we can refine our path analysis by excluding specific devices. Using the filtering menu on the left, like removing redundant paths through the core and MPLS routers, and we can see the number of viable paths decrease below. This has been a simple demo to show how we can better understand and verify network behavior looking at traffic paths end-to-end. -end. The resulting workflows can save upwards of 90% of the time troubleshooting network issues and proving compliance. If you are interested in learning more about Forward Networks, please visit our website at forwardnetworks.com. And please check out our other product and use case videos on our site or YouTube channel.